Welcome back to another box video. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We are analyzing the name reveal trailer because there are lots of bits and pieces that I think can lead to the next Vex game and we can kind of predict it based on this reveal. Alright, so starting off we have these little um, orange shapes. We have a square and a hex or octagon and it's, I think it's very interesting um, all the lines um, in this trailer. Lots of vertical lines, lots of patterns. And I think that is leading to something more important that I'll get into later. But specifically with the octagon, this could be some kind of goal. Um, I don't think it's like a mobile goal like we have right now. I think it's going to be more similar to something in Turning Point, where um, you have to take it and score it on something. And where would you score it on? Well, I think it's potentially could be scored on what looks like the arrow point. That could be something coming from the wall but now that could also be some kind of game object um the arrow at the beginning is very off-putting i'm not quite sure what that's a part of in fact this whole trailer is kind of a bit more mysterious than the last one where everything in the um, high stakes one was all about high stakes there was no iq elements but in this one there's a lot more iq elements so it's hard to distinguish which one might be which on the yellow ones but we have that little triangular piece and if that is part of the v5 game it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be centered on the wall, probably potentially, but maybe not on the wall, but there's also, it looks like lots of um, vertical bars, once again. Now, a lot of people could think this would be tiling. However, I don't believe it might be tiling. I think it'd be in the center of the field. And, um, but these vertical lines are very important, and so it's something we can get into later. Um, we have more patterns, and then the, we have flash, um, the red. And you can see here we have some more octagons and squares. I think it's very possible there's some could be some cubes scoring objects, but more likely it's an octagon kind of thing. Now you have what looks like the bottom of a Lego piece. And this is very interesting because I think it kind of if it first looks like the Lego piece, but if you look at it differently, it can kind of look like a basketball court, which I think is also elaborate on later in um, this reveal, which is very interesting because I think um, there are elements here, lots of them, that could lead to a Vex basketball game. Now, we could be completely wrong about this, but we know that Vex is not shy to do basic games and kind of transform. They did soccer with over and under. Now we're having pushback. Now a lot of people would be like, oh, it's pushback. Why are we doing a basketball game? Well, here's the deal. The name usually isn't implying what you're doing necessarily exactly to the point of scoring. The main objective usually isn't in the name. It's usually something to do with it, though. I think pushback could be something interacting with the field. Pushback could very well be moving a part of the field, pushing it back into place, I think that there might be a gate element to this and we know vex has loved staying components from old games they do it all the time i don't think they're refurbishing a game this time around just because we just did that with high stakes i think this one's a little bit different i think that this one is going to be taking some elements from other games but making a new one and it's going to be um pushback where you had to push maybe through some gates or something because there's lots of vertical bars or horizontal bars that look, kind of look like they could be multiple different walls or layers to get through something to, there's layers and we know that there's obstacles i believe that this field is going to be a much less clean field where there's going to be like a lot of objects on it this time around now we also know that with the three dots it could also mean the levels like we saw in turning point where you had the fight and you could push back on opponents. There's another opportunity there. It's just kind of looking into that name and these objects. Um, now, one of the biggest things that I think we get a view of is uh, two things. At the very end, we have this red flash, but it looks like some sort of basket. It's what leads me to the basketball theory back is definitely looks like something you either shoot into or what someone brought up when we were talking about is it could be a match loading thing as well um i think we're pretty sure it's gonna be balls or disc judging by the swirls and whatnot so if, if it's not a ball it could be a puck it's kind of like the other thought but um if it's a ball you match load through it or, or you could score through it it could be a scoring goal of sorts so and that's what leads to the basketball theory is just this further of the scoring um by shooting it into there um, and then there's the flash of the red hero bot. Um, I believe the blue one was probably more of an IQ thing. If blue means IQ, there's that. But red 
Red is a hero, a hero bot. Now it looks like a meta shooting bot. I don't think it's gonna be a meta bot. I don't think it's that, that advanced of a hero bot, but I do believe that shows us that maybe shooting is gonna be more of a primary thing. Now, usually the hero bots aren't that advanced, so I'm very interested to see what this bot can do. Um, and it's very interesting, um, the hero bot that they showed off there. So I'm interested to see what all it can do and if shooting um, the Vex Ball is, is going to be your key. Um, so there's also the swirls and vertical lines, as presumed. So personally, I think that this Vex game very well could be have a less rigid feel, field, and you can move around objects, you can move the gate, something to do where you're moving this field, you're changing it, you're, push, you're pushing back on it. It's kind of like you push back on a wall or something. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Because of the, it's just the lines and shapes that they're showing us. They're very, very heavy on the shapes. And you could say I'm reading too much into that, but every component in the high stakes name reveal had objects somewhere hidden. And there are lots of people have gone, some of them, but some like the mobile goal was not seen very much. I haven't seen any people talk about this stuff. So I think it's very important that we look at every aspect because they are just hinting at us right now. And I think the lines and patterns are not just visuals. I think that there is a lot to them being very horizontal because sometimes they're all over the place, but sometimes they're very horizontal. I think that was intentional for a reason. So um, all in all, I think we're gonna have a basketball shooting game. Um, I think it's def I think it's a shooting game. It's not a stacking game, it's a shooting game. Orange is the object of the game um and that makes sense it's like an orange just yellow um but i don't think it's gonna be straight up yellow like people are saying and i think it's gonna be a shooting game and i think there's a possibility it could have something to do with the field moving around but there's lots of different things that could happen we can't tell a lot because these images or these pictures are very like you have to piece together things what's part of iq what's not there's a lot going on here but i'm very interested to see what this game is because it looks like it could be a good one um and yeah so that's it for um this name reveal analysis and i can't wait to see what this field and what this game will look like and um see you guys at worlds